Uh, are we live? Oh. Yeah, we're live. So, yeah, uh, Tim said he wanted to try the Alan Wake remaster, and I love any game made by Remedy Entertainment, so I said, hell yeah, let's do it. Uh, Kevin's I, probably going to join us at some point. Uh, I've never played Alan Wake, so this will be uh, something. Stephen King but, uh... Into games. Hold on. I was going to say, you jumped right into this before we could do any options like subtitles or anything. Real quick before you start it up again. Uh, so for context, Remedy is most regularly known for uh, Max Payne, Alan Wake, and Control. Those are like their three main IPs that they're known for. Um, we've played uh, Control to some extent on the stream before. I don't think we've ever... Tim, have you played Max Payne? And not I played, on stream, just in general. I played the first one for a bit, and I really liked it. Hmm. I'm a writer. I'm a writer. I'm a writer. I'm broke as shit. <laughs> We're currently on strike, because fucking Hollywood's just bullshit right now. No, no, he's a novelist, even worse. Oh, gross. He's not even cool. Somebody wants to be Walt Disney. Following a typical nightmare. Only because I don't think we did it on stream. After you do this, I'll probably re-download Control and play the A. I've been driving too far. Complete the loop. To get there. Whoa! Oh my God! Build a guy. I know what you did last summer. <laughs> I hate that movie. The first one's fine. It's kind of a generic slasher. The third movie is an Bad. abomination. <laughs> it's a fucking travesty. Two? I like that neither of us have mentioned two. Two's fine. Oh. It's got Jack Black. It's fine. It's got Jack Black as a Rastafarian. <laughs> so An you know idea it's so good. absurd that I really find it funny. You know Suddenly it's good. his body was gone. Episode one. Nightmare. Nightmare. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. nightmare. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Jinx. We didn't say it at the same time, though. You just said it after I yeah, said Yeah, but it. we said God damn it on, at the same time, at least on my end. Oh, did we? You you, you said it long after. Hold on. No. Who the fuck? I'm not a pilot. Come on. Oh, God, I gotta run. I mean, I assume that option is mostly for people with, like, as an accessibility feature more than anything, even if it's a very uh, basic one. I, would, I assume. Would, I don't know for a fact. It's a lighthouse. Maybe if I go there. What's the sign I say? Can... Oh, uh, Something Cove Point Lighthouse. Rain Cove Point Lighthouse. I, I like that name. More like... So, I will say, like... You know Twin You've watched Twin Peaks, Hold right? on one second. What? It's for his novel. Oh. Uh... Who's that? It's the hitchhiker. He's got a gun! Whoa, He's hey, a novelist. This can't happen to me. Oh, this is but, uh, misery. All... You've watched Twin Peaks, right? Uh, not... I've watched the first episode. I haven't watched anything past that. Oh. Uh... That's one of the most common comparisons and inspirations people refer to with this game. Come on, door. I think you... Yeah, this is just a tutorial. You gotta go through it. Try and dodge the attack. I, I did it twice. Good work. The hitchhiker was trying to suck my dick. I don't like that. That's the other thing, is this story deals very heavily in, like, metafiction regarding his position as an author. Uh, it's funny, my, my only exposure to any form of Alan Wake was, uh... Don't say American Nightmare. <laughs> no, 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 I never played it. Is it bad? No, I just think it's a funny thing for, like, that... T because it was an Xbox... I think it was an Xbox arcade game. It was, yeah. So I think it's very funny that that was a lot of people's introduction to the series. No, so 
Do you remember a YouTuber named Kitty0706? He did a lot of Gmod animations way back in the day. I'd probably see, if I saw his videos, I'd probably uh, recognize him, but I don't recognize the name. Team Fabulous 2. Oh, uh, okay, I think so, yeah. So, he had a series called Elliot Does So-and-So. Like, it changed every other episode. But one of them was Elliot Goes... Hey, he left goes, that guy outside! Fuck that guy, I don't know who he is. He's gonna get killed by your character. Oh. Whoa. Why would I feel like Keanu Reeves would play this character in a video, in a film adaptation? Who, uh, Alan Wake? Yeah. Not so much in looks, more in, more in personality than anything in else. In vibe, I I can totally see the vibe. Yeah. Oh, I do not like the eyes. Uh, the eye appearing on the TV. God damn. You know, I haven't watched... I've watched, like, the... Uh, here's the thing. I already know kind of what happens in Twin Peaks. Because, fucking, that show's been on for forever. Tom Poet. Sorry, that <laughs> becomes an important character in the series. Or in the story. Is it, uh, Bob? Or whatever the fuck his name was? No, no, no. Tom Poet. Oh. The what guy on the poster. That? On the door. The cabins are rocking and a rumbling. What the fuck do I do? I can't get out of this, can I? I think it's supposed to just scare the shit out of you. There you go. Oh. Well, let me put it that way. Um. Checkpoint reached. What's a checkpoint mean to a man like me? Alan Wake. No, um, and Elliot goes camping. Uh, so, yeah, your health regenerates when you're in light. So walk back to the... Uh, or not. Now, under the lamp, dude. <laughs> I'll do now it. you can keep going. Let's do this. Um, no, the, the mechanics of lights are going to be a big factor in the game. As you might have noticed, uh, the hitchhiker chasing you seems like completely shrouded in shadows. Yeah. Is so someone else supposed to go this way, or...? You are. He, he, the light is talking to you. Follow the light. Let there be light. The terrible Kevin Sorbo movie. There's a lot of terrible Kevin Sorbo stuff out there. No, 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 I mean the movie Let There Be Light. No, I know. Which is probably his funniest movie, if I'm being honest. I never thought a movie about a man uh, who dies and comes back to life would be funny, but it is. You know what? You're being a dick. What the? Hold on. Ooh. Wait. Take the, take the flashlight. Oh. What is this, fucking Dead by Daylight? <laughs> Once you've burned away the shadow like you have, you can just start shooting him. There you go. Control? I think this is a prediction from the company. Take the gun. Kill. 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 John Lennon? The flashlight is your reticle. Oh, you can... You have, like, a reload faster option. That's pretty cool. Well, it's like the kind of timed reload where if you hit it in the sweet spot, it'll reload faster, but if you miss it, it'll be slower. Maybe this is Dead by Daylight. Um... All right, hold on one second. Was there anything in here I could take? Yeah. Ammo. More ammo. And more ammo. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, and Elliot goes camping. The character Brandon spends the whole episode uh, doing an Alan Wake impression. And he kind of just fell... He really fell off. Sweet. 
Oh, there is a jump button. Oh, shit. Fuck. Find some light and stay under it. You can't catch me, gay ghosts. So your flashlight will recharge on its own, but otherwise, like, but it's slow when to instantly recharge it. You need batteries, which you don't have. Yeah. Just like me. He's multiplying. This is actually a really cool combat mechanic. I was gonna say I'd just take the moment to kill the two that you already dispelled it from, but okay. Uh oh. Nice dodge. Thank you. I'm kind of panicking. And we're only in the tutorial. Hold on. Fuck. I think he's still got too much darkness on him. There you go. Now he's vulnerable. Goodbye. And jump. Bat. Bat. Uh, I would like it if you didn't. I will say, um, of Remedy's franchises, I do think this and Control have the most connected to each other. Like, all of them reference each other in different ways, but those two definitely. I also don't just mean that in the fact that there's an Alan Wake DLC for Control. Well, here's my question. Uh, has Alan Wake written a book about Max Payne? I think so. I think that's, like, part of it is that he's, like, the author of the books for Max Payne. Sweet. Hold on, let me remind myself of that, refresh my memory. Um... So... I know I'm, I put a picture of it in the group chat the other night. Um, there's a movie about the Von Erich family being made... Uh, for the context of people who don't know, the Von Erics were a family of professional wrestlers. Uh, it's a very tragic story. I won't. I believe the a other actor's name is Jeremy Allen White. Right. Hold on. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Here's the question. If they made a live-action movie, would Keanu Reeves even want to cut his hair for this? Okay, I remember now. So basically, one of Alan's novels, The Sudden Stop, is very directly made similar to the story of Max Payne. Got it. Also, that little sign on the bridge for welcoming people into the town ain't got shit on the bridge by Trenton. Um... But yeah, you see those? Yeah, it would be the whole bridge if we're talking Trenton right now. Frankly, it just reminds me of the opening of Prey. The game, not the Predator movie. Where, like, you're flying past the city and you just see the letters Bethesda Softworks, like, built into it. Yeah. I don't think I've ever actually... Wait, what old man are you talking about, lady? That guy? Oh, that guy. Okay. So today was, news-wise, news for my personal interests, very interesting and very frustrating. Oh, I bet. Because on the one hand, very fun because uh, Final Fantasy XIV Fan Fest started today, and they just did a whole bunch of new announcements, mainly about the upcoming next expansion. Uh, as well as bizarrely, a two-way five or two-way Fall Guys crossover. That the more I think about it, makes more sense than I would have anticipated originally. How <laughs> so? 
Well, just because 14 has featured, like, jumping puzzles and platform puzzles for a long time as part of side content. So it makes a weird amount of sense. Uh, and that was all really cool. I really enjoyed a lot of the new announcements for Final Fantasy. On the Disney side of things, however... Oh, uh, yeah. They announced, uh, well, confirmed more than anything, something we we kind of knew, uh, that the Hatbox Ghost was being added to the Orlando version of the Haunted Mansion ride. Great yeah. news, right? But then they had no. the key detail of where they're putting him on the ride. And it's in a place that just makes zero fucking sense and seems to disregard the setting as it existed before this edition. And people have very much been voicing their, like, nice. displeasure with this news. You can't even really blame them either, because it, it's before Madame Leota, right? Like, look... I'm not for, con for context, for those who don't have Disney ride brain, Disney theme park brain rot like I do, uh, the story of the Haunted Mansion, as loose as it is, basically goes that as you're going through the mansion, uh, it starts with you only being able to like see the effects of the ghosts around you as they haunt you. You don't directly see the ghosts. Like, you'll see stuff floating down the dis in the distance. So by placing the Hatbox Ghost character before the seance room, it throws off the whole vibe of the whole thing. Yeah. In a way that really annoys me. Sorry, I, just, I was trying to copy the shot from Fast and Furious 6 where it looks like the rock is twice the size. I know this sounds like a weird thing to be hung up on if you're or not like a theme park guy, but the story and setting of it, as much as there is is crafted in such a way that it's meant to, like, convey this journey through the house. And so disregarding that really pisses me off. It's it's the little things that usually make those rides work. So for them to kind of, like, go over it, it's kind of, I don't want to say insulting, but it's kind of like, what are you guys well, doing? The, the other reason it doesn't make sense is that the, all they had to do was put him in the same spot he is in the California mansion. And people would have been more than happy with that. But for seemingly no reason, they're changing it. Uh, they want to be quirky and wacky. I think that's a pretty good reason. Well, some people wonder if it's, like, a very loose way to tie to the movie. But even then, that doesn't really make the most sense. Ah... <sighs> Because it's not like they're changing his design to fit more with the movies. It's still the same, like, version of the character and whatnot, but... I don't know. Man, I think Disney's, it's Disney's fucking over the, ha the Haunted Mansion in more than one way this month. Good to know. Yeah, no, that's the other thing. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much details for it, because Disney is still, movie studios-wise, a struck studio. But, like... What were they thinking making that movie come out in July? I mean, I know what they were thinking. It's because they wanted to be on Disney Plus by the time... Oh, fuck, hold on. Sorry, uh, my favorite character showed up. <laughs> this guy? Odin! And Thor. That's him? Those are the gods of Asgard. The greatest fucking rock band there ever was. <laughs> oh, I adore these two. Ooh, coffee thermos. Uh, anyway, yeah, no, like, again, they wanted the movie, it's because they wanted the movie to be on Disney Plus near Halloween, instead of coming into theaters near Halloween, which... I'm sure they're then going to turn around and say, oh, well, it didn't perform well at the box office. Totally not our fault. Uh, we're not going to invest in anything regarding the parks again. That's totally not how this is going to go down. It's like... Not only did they release it before October, they released it just at the absolute worst time. Oh, yeah, and also a weekend after Barbenheimer. And also, like, a week before Ninja Turtles comes out. Just really doing this movie no favors. 
Like, um, no offense to whatever anybody thinks about the Ninja Turtles compared to Disney. I, I'm sorry. I think everybody's going to want to see that instead of the Haunted Mansion movie. Which, again, like, I'm not going to linger on it too much, but I really enjoyed it. Which you, is you why I think it fun. sucks that it's going to... I really, really enjoyed it, which is why I think it sucks that it's going to get screwed. Also because critics really dunked on it out of nowhere for, uh, for some reason. Like, even for the complaints that were lodged in these criticisms, I feel like the scores were really intensely low. Although fan reactions are coming out now, and they've been generally positive, which kind of backs me up on that, I think. Look, it's better than what 2003 got. Well, I mean, it's. I was going to say, it's still gotten better reviews than the 2003 movie. Even though a bunch of people are, like, having this weird, like, fucking nostalgia for that movie out of nowhere. It's like, okay, now y'all are speaking up about it? Cool. Well, I, I think it's people who only ever knew the movie and not really the ride who are like, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was not good, but moving on. It, it has a number of problems that would take a long time to lay out, namely both in writing and directing and production and ugh. And Which is a shame, because there were a lot... In the 2003 one, there were a lot of people... Even on the cast side, there were some good people who really seemed to like care about the source material and what movie they were making. And it was just getting screwed by the other elements. Like, you and I were talking about how Rick Baker did the makeup effects for the first movie. And he was clearly so passionate about being involved in a Haunted Mansion movie, he cast himself as the ghost host. Sweet. I like this little cabin right here. Oh, uh, yeah? Y you really like that cabin? That's fun. <laughs> Going into this blind sucks. Um. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm glad you enjoy the cabin. This is totally not like... Some, uh, this is totally not a metaphor for Alan Wake's mental health or some bullshit like that. Don't worry. I'll get you inside. So you're or picking like, up on the vibes already. What? I'm not, I'm not saying you're guessing specifics, you're just getting the vibe. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure oh god, is it like a Silent Hill 2 situation? Yeah. Alright, I'll take that as a yes. But like, not like um, a No, nah, it's... Nah, hmm. Oh my god, Again, this... I don't I don't like comparing those games for no reason. Like I know that feels like a non answer, but So uh when's Alan Wake getting added to Dead by Daylight? I know he's not necessarily Unironic this is... Unironically, that would be cool. Yeah, I keep saying I know this isn't necessarily horror, but it's more horror than anything. Yeah. No, I, I think he would totally fit. The flashlight mechanics ignored. Look, all I'm saying is Alan Wake 2 is coming out. Behave your devs. Make, make some calls. Maybe. I don't know. Get your shit together for once. That was aggressive. Um, I mean, Nick Cage just came out in the game. Which is awesome. Yeah, no. So, real quick with the Von Erichs movie. Yeah, they added the guy from The oh. Bear in the cast. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you watched that show yet. It's really good. I'll say this about the bear. Don't watch it when you're hungry. <laughs> they uh they make some good food on that show. Um you know, Jeremy Allen White plays I think Kevin Von either Kevin or Carrie Von Eric. I can't remember which one. One of them ended up in WWE as the Texas Tornado, that's all I know. Leave the WWE to uh, give a wrestler a terrible nickname. I mean, it's not as bad as the Red Rooster. And yes, they did make whoever that wrestler was have a fucking rooster's mohawk. Sorry, real quick. Because of the news today from the Final Fantasy XIV Fan Fest, I was playing a bit of Fall Guys. And on their current, uh, I guess it's the, their fame pass, it's their battle pass. Yeah. There's a costume for Norman Reedus' character from Death Stranding. Oh, hell yeah. Including a tiny little uh, 
the what was the name of the baby thing? All sorts of horrors lurking in the depths below. This is kind of cool. I like. Th I'm really liking bridge those games baby. so far. What's that? Like the cosmetic comes with a tiny little bridge baby with a Fall Guys face. <laughs> Dude, not so much for a playthrough, but more so for an excuse to do a podcast. We should just play fucking Death Stranding. <laughs> just so we don't have to worry about talking over it. Yeah. Because let's be very honest, no one's there for the story. Or rather, it's very easy to tune out during the story. It's so goddamn long. Um, it does have one of my favorite moments in any video game. So we're like, Mario and Princess Beach. And then they jog on the beach. It's so stupid. It's uh, really bad. Oh my. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Hey, I wasn't expecting us to start until uh, 9.30, but here we are. <laughs> well, he put in Discord if, ever, if any, everyone was okay starting early. Yeah, we got yeah, a film no, tomorrow uh, for a run late. Were like, uh, that's all right. We were, I was supposed to not even be here like, tonight. Yeah. I was supposed to be doing something else, but things happened. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. I can't, I won't go into specifics just because it's someone else's personal business, but yeah, I was, I was supposed to see Oppenheimer in IMAX, and, uh, wow, yeah. Wow, that shared screen is terrible for me. Um, yeah, no, it was for me, too. Geez, that, this, this is actually, actually so, it looks like another probably, game. We should probably check Twitch, make sure it doesn't look like that there. But you guys aren't checking Twitch. <laughs> Usually we rely on you to do that. Dang it. And... Oh yeah, no, the, po the point. Oh, no. oh shit, the other half of the house, where it go? He's diving, he's Jason Statham. Yeah, it looks like he dived into like whatever the hell Venom's made out of for me. <laughs> Symbiote, yeah. <laughs> Alan! Alan! Sean! Oh. <laughs> no, so wait. Um, guys, are y'all pumped for the aliens being real? I mean, I feel like everyone's just been, like, hearing that headline, taking it at face value, and then moving on. Like, y'all, okay. it was basically a former, like... A guy who was a whistleblower a couple a few years back for something unrelated, saying that someone he knew in the government said that they had aliens. Uh, someone on TikTok I know, the a guy who just goes by Karen on TikTok. Whoa. Sorry, that was me. I was uh, checking the stream. Also, it looks fine, Kevin, on the stream. So you're, we're good. It, cool. it gets a little grainy at some points, but not nearly as bad as it is here. Oh my god, this is... It's funny, because everybody on Twitch is like, or what, what the hell are they talking about? The footage looks fine, but for us, it's like, oh my god, he's just a square. <laughs> maybe maybe you maybe you need to start checking your internet, Kevin. I mean, you're the one casting to us, and if we're both getting the grainy pixels, yeah, just saying. Maybe Kevin and you need to check your internet. <laughs> It can't be my problem. Tim, <laughs> it's still a little right now, on my end. I was going to say, right now it looks like a mid-2000s game that has a retro filter cheat code where it just pixelates the hell out of the screen. Yeah, we can pass this off as intentional. It's an artistic choice. But wait, is it like this on Twitch? No. Yeah. No, like it. It, it gets a little grainy sometimes, but nothing bad. Then I don't care. Very minimally. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods. At Dear sister. Did you ever find <laughs> <laughs> How does that letter go? Dear sister, by the time you read this, I'll be dead. I think this is how it's going to play out. That's the start. I don't remember the rest of the letter. But, um... Well, I think it's just like... He will shoot me, which I shoot him, and then he'll shoot me, and then I'll shoot him, who will we'll both shoot you, and then we both... And then two cops will come to the scene, they'll start shooting each other. 
If there was a third then, guy involved, there was three guys shooting each other. It's just three guys shooting each other and then the sister. Yeah, because it was Bill Hader, Andy Sandberg, Shia LaBeouf, Kristen Wiig, Fred Armisen, and Jason Sudeikis. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know the cast of Dear Sister. What? <laughs> totally not impressive and all. <laughs> yeah, my Tinder is in the profile link. <laughs> I have a girlfriend. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's just one of those things where it's like, uh, uh yeah, I know who all and Dear Sister was. <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> uh, just drop your, just send me your panties through the mail. It's fine. It's one of those, it just sounds like one of those statements. Just, like, <laughs> totally, I'm, actually, totally I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off the shared screen. <laughs> Jeez, my god. I I literally could not look at that anymore. Whoa Jack, you didn't tell me there's a parkour mechanic in this game. Parkour. Parkour. <laughs> If I tried to do any of what I just did with Alan Wake there, I probably would have twisted my ankle three different times. <laughs> I'm surprised Alan Wake... Who? Oh. Is that Alan you? Alan Wake? <laughs> did it say Alan Wake? You just yeah, said yes, Alan Wake! Well, look, that's the clip. <laughs> there we go, there's, there's, the, there's the clip for the episode. <laughs> Alan Wake. Why will oh. nobody take me seriously? I'm Alan Wank. <laughs> <laughs> um, just what it, do you think? There's like some British YouTuber who reviewed this game. They called him that. No, it's definitely some like mid two thousand edgy video game reviewer, which is like, this game is oh. It is a cool game. I can't even deny that. Oh, yeah. That reminds me, Kevin, before you, you missed the introduction of my two favorite characters in the Remedy multiverse. Uh, uh, real quick. This, this is a random uh, observation I'm making. I'm probably wrong on this. Is Alan a little cross-eyed or am I crazy? I didn't see, and again, my screen is so pixelated. I doubt I'd be able Honestly, to tell. Honestly, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, characters back in the day that you'd look at them that one angle, and they looked very cross-eyed because they couldn't really do eyes right. But anyway, uh, Kevin, you missed the introduction of the old gods of Asgard, Thor and Odin Anderson. Damn. Basically, a pair of geriatric former rockers. Uh, I don't oh like my. the situation I'm in. Thank you. Why? You don't like being in a building as it's being torn down and pushed over a cliff like the end of uh, Jurassic Park 2? It wasn't the end of Jurassic Park. It was like the middle of Jurassic trailer. Park 2. Oh, yeah. I guess that, I guess that was the middle, wasn't it? Sorry. I yeah. always get that out of order. Yeah, Point not is, a trailer, not a house. What is a trailer but a house on wheels? You know what? You got me there. Uh, there's a dude on the roof. Yeah, I see him. He's no longer on the roof. It's time for Alan to wank. Wait. That's <laughs> not what I mean. Is it not what you mean? Leave me oh. alone. I'm just an author. I'm the... You know who I am. Do you... <laughs> yeah, no, he's that kind of author. He's like, um... I wrote the Max Payne trilogy. Thank you very much. Again, they don't directly say that he, like Max Payne is one of his characters. They just one of the books he's written in universe. His plot is like very similar to Max Payne. Yep. Can I just? Can I? Thank you. Or oh, I could just do that. Okay. Yeah. Can uh, jump. You have legs. <laughs> uh, you don't know that it's Alan Wake. Anything can happen. Also, duck season. Uh, Damn boy. Good boy. Sorry, uh, yeah, sometimes the shadow people just, like, their minds are gone and they just start saying rambling nonsense. <laughs> but I couldn't resist it when he said it's rabbit yeah. season. 
Also, 100% honestly, this is one of those listen to streams. <laughs> Just oh, absolutely. The that fucked. Uh, yeah. What the fuck was it? Actually, Jack, it's hair season. I don't know what you're talking about with rabbits. I, hair, hair. Uh, I hate hair. the fact that rabbits and hares aren't actually that genetically close in relation. I won't, I won't I mean, elaborate. I don't know enough about rabbit biology to know. I, I did some vague research there. on it, and basically, they are in the same family, but... No! <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't see... What was that no about? I fell in the fucking lake by accident. Oh, I'm so far behind, I'm sorry. I don't even know how that happened. Uh... You know who I am. Hold on a second. Um, maybe you didn't recognize me because I had sunglasses on. But I'm... I wrote a song about dinosaurs with lasers fighting in space. Uh, my name is McGordy. I, I made the pilot for co-op mode. Yeah, think about that next time. Uh, I wrote a rap about all five nights at Freddy's. Yeah, uh, catch up outside, so, please. So I guess I'm the only one who's quoting the fucking Game Grumps bit then, got it? No, no, well, no, 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 we're, yeah, we're no, going off like, of that bit. No, I know, I, I know. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, we're making our own thing. Now you say something that you've done recently. <laughs> um, I'm the guy who spent way too long talking about uh, Disney, Disney rides themed around ghosts on TikTok. So, yeah. uh, I can park in the handicap no, spot no. if I want. What the fuck just happened there? That was totally on me, by the way. But what the hell even no happened? Problem. You, you. It looks like you bounced off the Xbox Live instead of interacting with it. I think that's what that giant square is. I can't tell. <laughs> I, I don't want to make fun of your shitty internet. But as far as I'm concerned, you bounced off an Xbox Live and fell into the Atlanta River. Have you not? Have you not just gone to the Twitch stream? I I, I am. <laughs> I am on the Twitch stream. Well, then Kevin doesn't get to deserve anything. Uh, hold on. Let me take off my sunglasses. I started a streaming company called Lone Night Gaming, where we made a total of like $51. Yeah. I'll just leave the paper kind of here a big for deal. all the numbers. Yeah. Oh, we only, wait, we only made $51? We made $51? You guys getting paid? <laughs> <laughs> Hold yeah. on. Uh, so, Kevin, I was talking about this before you got here. What did you think about the most, un like, out of left field Final Fantasy XIV crossover announcement? Uh, you mean Fall Guys? Yeah. I'm no, I'm not surprised. Fall Guys has like everything now. Well, no, because it's not just Fall Guys getting Final Fantasy XIV skins. Final Fantasy XIV is going to get an in-game fa Fall Guys event. They already had one, and I don't want to go back. Oh, you mean the jumping puzzles? I know. I think that's why they're so on board with it. Yeah. Can't make me go through that. I gotta go through that every time I get to the casino. And why is your gun battery powered? It's Wait, not. The bad mind. Mind. The flashlight. 100% honesty, I looked at the left side and not the right side. Sorry, Kevin. You can't even see the screen anyway. Fun fact, do you know that three rights make a wrong because you are actually going left and you were trying to go right? <laughs> what? Three rights I get make it. left. It was a joke. I get. I'm I too tired. I didn't get credit for that. That was pointed out to me. I'm like, oh shit, this actually blows my mind. <laughs> I wasn't going to go that far, but okay. Look, I wasn't expecting it. I was just like, wait a minute. <laughs> And then I did like a, look, I, I've been very tired, and like my allergies have been bothering me all week. So anything can blow my mind right now. 
Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not finishing the rest of that quote. Uh, as far as other uh, stuff to come out of Fan Fest, Final Fantasy XIV Fan Fest today, so it's kind of a tradition that Yoshi P specifically chooses his outfit to tease uh, upcoming jobs at Fan Fest, like upcoming like character classes. That is, uh, <laughs> and which makes it very confusing that he was wearing a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shirt. <laughs> You pussy. I was oh, doing something. Is that they brought back the I Like Turtles guy? Yeah, I did yeah, see that. Which, damn, okay, I see. It's that hard. It's, the struggle's that real without the actors, then. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, then. Come here, B.I. Where are you? Why did no, your no, 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 no. Where'd like, you go? Why did your O kind of remind me of Fozzy for a second? Like, oh! Waka waka! Ah! <laughs> Seriously. Um, I fucking forgot this. I got a shotgun. Yeah, I, 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 I finally understand, and I was like, "What are you so excited about?" But of course, I, I get the shotgun, and the ghost that was attacking me disappears. I mean, they're ghosts. They can just do come and go as they please. Well, it's not ghosts, it's shadow people. Oh, like, there's well, basically, is. there is a dark entity that's, like, corrupting these people and turning them into monsters. So, are we going for Boulevard of Broken Dreams parody today, or literally me and my shadow? Uh. Uh. What? <laughs> You know, my shadow's the only one that walks, oh, walks beside, beside me. me. Okay, now I understand. Or are we going for me and my shadow? Or God uh, we're actually going for Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh. All hail Shadow, I see. I am, I am. I want you to get on me. There had to be something I could use to There's three songs about Shadow in the Sonic universe. <laughs> and? I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, there's literally 30 songs about Sonic himself. I guess that's true. Shadow's gotta catch up. He's He's gotta catch up to the faker. <laughs> you know, hold on, I'll be right back, actually. Oh, not a problem. Are you playing Fall Guys? I am. I I knew. The 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 way I said fuck gave it away. <laughs> no, I just put all the pieces together. Final What'd you Fantasy. Guys do? Oh, no, wow. I just lost in Fall Guys due to some bullshit. Yep. Ah. Uh, I don't know what those words mean, oh, but I I'll see. go with it. You know what, so, I'm not going to uh, criticize you, I'm going to blame the game there, but how'd you fail a straight shot? Uh, I was saying goodnight to my parents, and I didn't know what the fuck I left off on. Oh, okay. Did you say goodnight to your parents, Kevin? They just abandoned me on the weekends. Then I don't know if I can hear it. I, I mean, like it sounds a lot sadder, but gone. they have like a. But it's like. Oh. Pretty good news. Uh, was it something other than him stroking out at, on stage? I'd say that great news. 